hi guys welcome back to my channel dimples on demand sorry i was just eating something um i just took a doordash order and i wasn't gonna film but i felt like this one was very interesting so it is a doordash order shopping and delivering from acme supermarket which I've, i you guys know i shop at acme all the time for instacart and ship but I wanted to test out DoorDash and I'm going to film so you guys are able to see. Um, it's paying $17.50, 10 items. They all look like barbecue summertime items. So ice cream, hot dogs, buns, stuff like that. So yeah, it's gonna be pretty interesting. I just wanna walk through the process so you guys can at least see what I'm doing. Um, was it last week that I received an email from DoorDash stating that they were now a part of Acme? Um, this supermarket is trying to get all the money because they have shipped Instacart, DoorDash, and Point Pickup for this exact grocery store. So they're trying to get it wherever they can and I don't blame them. So we are multi-apping and they are multi apping as well <laughs> anyway let me go in here and shop this order i will screen record so you can see what i'm doing so if any of you have ever done a cvs or walgreens order you would see that this is very familiar the screen is exactly the same it shows you the list of items along with the pictures so you can easily locate them in the store Once you tap on the picture, it does enlarge it so you can get a better view. And it also gives you the size in ounces or pounds or whatever it is that you need to shop for. As you find the item, you just progress through the list stating that the item is available. Here, I actually could not find the correct size hot sauce that the customer needed. So I let her know and she was like, you know, just refund it. I did notice that DoorDash gave a little message up top stating that one item was pending and that kind of prompts you to communicate with the customer, which it was all fine. Towards the end, you do enter a loyalty number and that number lets the cashier know that you are a DoorDash driver. And if you had any items that were taxed, the DoorDash platform is tax exempt, so the customer does not have to pay tax on any item that they're purchasing. Okay guys, so I'm actually back home and I did complete that Acme order via DoorDash. And it really wasn't bad. I did notice a few things which I wanna go over with you. Picking up, it's, it's really similar to when you accept a CVS or Walgreens order the app does prompt you to make sure that you have your red card because of course you're gonna to need to use the red card when you're paying. Um, the layout of the app is exactly the same. Um, they do show you photos of the items, which you can see right here, they tell you to shop. I guess I'll do a screen recording. Anyway, so they do show you um, photos of the items and you just progress through the list as you normally would if it was a door, if it was a, Walgreens or CVS order. However, uh, this customer wanted a specific size hot sauce um, bottle. She wanted five ounce, but the supermarket only had a 10 ounce. So of course, being a ship shopper and an Instacart shopper, I did offer her a substitute, which, you know, I think it's better than nothing. So I did message her and ask her if she wanted the the um, hot sauce substitute and she actually said no. So how this differs from a CVS or Walgreens order is that this actually prompts you to contact the customer and ask for a substitution, which is funny because at the other two places, you just don't. So it kind of prompts you to ask for a substitution. You can either add a substitution or issue a refund. So once the customer confirmed that she didn't want the substitute, of course, I went ahead and refunded her item. Um, so I kind of like this setup better than 
if I was doing CVS or Walgreens. Now I'm curious to see if this new addition or having Acme on this platform has kind of prompt them to make some changes because this is a grocery store as opposed to a pharmacy. So hopefully this is trickling down to the CVS and Walgreens and because it just makes things a little easier, especially coming from, for those that come from a background where they have never shopped for a customer via Instacart or shit, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so yeah, check out was Mm, a little rocky so because this app I'm, i keep looking down because i'm looking at the phone trying to recall what i did but instead of um it is this app is new to not this app this store is new to doordash so i would expect you know for the cashiers or the employees to kind of not know what's going on, which is fine. As the phone instructed me to do, I did let the cashier know that this was a DoorDash order. She was unfamiliar, she's never done one before. Um, I entered my phone number, which is 555. It's really like a generic made up type of number. And the another cashier said, yes, they're supposed to put in the number into the keypad. So that's important if you're doing an Acme order, input the number on the phone into the keypad. And on the cashier's end, it did say that this was a DoorDash order because of the number that I put in. So here's the thing to remember. If you're purchasing items that are taxable, the cashier has to have you fill out a tax exempt form. Luckily, I did not have any items that were taxable. Everything was food. So we kind of skipped that step. But now I know for next time, like if I'm picking up like a, a personal care item or whatever, I know it's gonna be taxed. So I, that's just something to prepare yourself and it might take a little bit more time than you're probably used to, especially because the cashiers are getting used to it, you're getting used to it, so yeah. I was able to skip that step and I proceeded with the delivery as I normally would and it really was smooth sailing. So at the end, I did get $17.50 three of those dollars were was the customer's tip. So it really wasn't bad. It was a 10 item shop, two of the items I had to refund. So eight items for under a half an hour, 17.50, I don't think it's bad. So I'm definitely gonna be on the lookout for many, many more Acme um, orders. They seem to be simple enough and yeah, why not? So. That is it for this video. I just wanted you guys to see how an Acme order, how you progress through the Acme order. And honestly, it's not bad. So yeah, please don't forget to like, comment, share with your friends, subscribe, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye.